You know, it feels like it's been ages since we had a story about a game developer getting all pissy because game reviews weren't as glowing and deferential as they wanted them to be. But former Assassin's Creed developer Patrice Desolais has grabbed the baton previously held by Richard LaRuina to continue a legacy of developers feeling entitled to better reviews than they got. I do think it was Richard LaRuina who was the last one to do a bit of a cry about this. You know, the super seducer guy. Ugh. Anyway, you may not have noticed it because it launched without much fanfare whatsoever, but Ancestors The Humankind Odyssey made its way to the Epic Games Store in August, and reviews for it were not exactly glowing. It currently has a 64 average on Metacritic, and many of the reviews skewer it for being obtuse, not really telling the player what to do, having a frustrating gameplay loop, and generally being very awkward to play. Well, according to Desolé that criticism is not valid, and in trying to protect Ancestors the Humankind Odyssey from what sounds like pretty fair criticism, the developer has leveled some pretty fucking serious charges at game reviewers, specifically accusing them of not playing the game. Now if any of that's true, this is a serious ethical breach that Desolé has blown the lid off here. So let's see what he had to say at a recent industry event, Reboot Develop Red. I'm used to having bigger numbers than that, so it's the elephant in the room, said Desolé of review scores not sounding entitled at all. But people expected my studio of 35 people to ship a game that is really close to Assassin's Creed, and it's just not not possible. We made some harsh decisions in order to ship the game and we wanted it to be different. We know for a fact that some reviewers actually didn't play the game. It is part of our industry. They have to review games and they have 15 of them to review in one week and sometimes they don't have time. And since Ancestors is so different, some of them went, uh, I don't have time for this. Now when I was doing full-time game reviews on my own, own without a team? Speaking as a workaholic, I have never had to review 15 games in one week. That is absurd. Now maybe he's exaggerating for effect, but when you're making a very serious ethical charge, you shouldn't be exaggerating for effect. So I'm going to take it seriously, what Desolé said as he speaks with such authority on the reality of the game review medium since he apparently knows so much about it. And again, all I can say in response to that is I have never had to review 15 games a week working on my own, and professional press outlets usually have teams working on this stuff. Anyway, he accused reviewers of making stuff up. He said, And we know for a fact that some just invented some elements in the game. Like there is no fire and you cannot ride any horses, even though one reviewer said, Oh, it wasn't that great when you ride a horse. Yes, my people are pissed by the way. So please don't take notes today as we talk, mainly because I don't know how to make a video game. Well, that last sarcastic aside exposes the real problem he has here. He feels personally slighted by game reviews not tonguing humankind's ass. Now, as far as game reviewers just making stuff up, Again, that is a very serious charge, a very serious ethical breach, and I hope he reported that reviewer to the publication. Now, I went through every online review listed on Metacritic, the negative ones and the positive ones. Now, this was by no means a comprehensive test. Some of the reviews are magazine only, couldn't look at those, and I struggled with the handful that were not in English. I think I was able to search for horse mentions in French, but I certainly combed through all of the English language reviews and I found only one mention of horses that was on the usgamer.net review that simply stated that the reviewer found some horses. Now I'm not saying Desolé is making stuff up about people making stuff up. Maybe there is a review, maybe there is one on Metacritic that I missed, or an even more obscure review that isn't listed on Metacritic that lambasts the horse riding that the reviewer couldn't possibly have done. But I will say that even if such a review exists, it is not admissible as evidence that enough 
for reviewers did not play the game and that is why its Metacritic score tanked. In fact, to looking at the reviews, many of them seem comprehensive enough, many of them do appear as if the game was played, so it does look like sour grapes and like he's just trying to cover up for the fact that he and his team of 35 people made a game that folks just didn't like. And it's not like the general public doesn't seem to agree. In fact, the user score is lower than the professional score. Users on Metacritic have given the game an average of 5.8 and seem to echo the exact same problem the professionals had. So even if you did find one or two reviews that exposed the reviewer didn't play the game, and I can almost guarantee he's going off one or two examples probably from tiny obscure sites where they're not taking it seriously, that doesn't discount the fact, and we are talking about facts here, Desolé, you know things for a fact. Well, I know for a fact the vast majority of the people talking about this online didn't care for the game. And Desolé is well within his rights to get pissy about that if he wants. He can take that personally, he can be upset by that, sure. But I do have a problem with him making the implications he's making. Now, did he say that all video game reviewers refuse to play the game before writing about it? No, he didn't. He said some game reviewers didn't play it. But, he says that within the context of the game's low review scores, making the implication, the quite obvious, pretty freaking clear implication, that the game didn't score very well because people didn't play it, people didn't treat it fairly. And really, that implication can fuck off. It's making excuses at the end of the day. Most of the reviewers that are listed on Metacritic clearly did play the game. And a lot of them just didn't like the game. Simple as that. By Desolé's own admission, Ancestors is obtuse. When the console version of the game hits later this week, they've added things that do a better job of telling the player what to do. He said the game is more uncompromising than the team intended it to be, so he knows that it's got faults. He knows why a lot of people didn't care for it, and yet he's still making excuses to not fully acknowledge why he got the scores he got. Because he worked on a Assassin's Creed and they got higher review scores. Don't you know who I am? I'll admit I take this all a little personally because I spent years in the old game review business, even today where I do unscored, just first impression-y stuff. I still do criticism of video games and I get accused of all sorts of things, of making stuff up, of being biased, of being paid off by other companies. I've had to weather so many absurd conspiracy theories that are complete bullshit, but people parade around as facts anyway. And as far as taking shit from game developers, well, Richard LaRuina openly fantasized about killing me and other critics in Super Seducer 2. The developer of Hydrophobia harassed me and colleagues on the phone because they didn't like a review I did. I've been stalked and threatened by weirdo game developers on Steam. And of course, one of those developers tried to sue me for $15 million. So I do take it a bit personally when I see people making unfounded excuses for low Metacritic scores. And it is unfounded. Because even if he did find two obscure websites making stuff up, that ultimately has nothing to do with the low Metacritic score. It has nothing to do with it. The overwhelming majority of reviews for Ancestors were well written, well researched, and generally lukewarm. Anyway, I didn't play the game. I thought it'd be funnier if I didn't. But since it's dropping on console soon with apparently more compromise, I may check it out, I may do a Jim impressions, and we will see if it's deserving of high praise or not. And I'll do my best to look for those horses.